Come on, then. Let's go. Morning, world. radio's off. Okay, so this morning I've got a little trip to Yate, Yate, uh, to one of our suppliers that makes our mugs, cuddly toys, key rings, stuff like that, to pick up a little bit of stock for our eBay shop. Um, I, you may have noticed, or may not have noticed because I haven't mentioned it, we haven't really done much with merchandise or um, trying to sell anything this year. I've kind of been otherwise occupied with things that are more important than trying to sell you and make a pound. Uh, but we have had a sudden run on a load of um, bits and bobs and we've run out of biscuit toys and we've run out of key rings um, and we're, we're getting short on mugs. But So that's where we're off to this morning. Off to go and pick up a bit of stock. Uh, not much. We've, um, we've kind of ummed and ahed about the eBay stuff and the merchandise and selling gear and whatever else. And <coughs> that's not really what the channel's about. It's not about me trying to sell you something. Uh, we get lots and lots of offers from companies who want to do collaborations, shall we say. They want to send me, like, items of clothing or a torch or or soap I think one was soap um, for me to show to you and to tell you how wonderful it is and well some of them say well thank you for doing it and you can keep whatever it is we send you and that's that's the fee and some of them are saying you know we can um, depending on how successful you are we might be do a continuation and then you can do like a monthly thing and I I don't really want to do that um, that's not what I'm here for I'm not here to sell you stuff I already said that didn't I but our own little biscuit toys um, and bits of bobs that we do we are going to continue with the eBay shop uh, but I think next year we'll we'll do maybe a little bit more I've kind of not been interested this year and I shouldn't have turned left there I shouldn't have turned left here I should have gone straight on that's me talking to you on autopilot well I'm going to start all that again I've just been tutored at by a complete stranger now they're waving at me. I have no idea. Whoever it is, if it was you, no. I didn't see it. So, right. Okay. It, it happens. Sometimes you'll just have a complete stranger go, right, Barbara P, or they'll just toot and they'll wave at me and you're going, hey, uh, you no. Know. Yeah, you have to cut me a bit of slack that you might know me quite well, but I haven't got a clue who you are. So forgive me if I look confused, which is a regular look for me. Confused. What are you chops about now? I'm gonna have to give you a trim. You've got hair in your eyes again. What? You can't be hungry, you're fat. Look. You're getting fat dog. Right, that's that done. Uh, nice to see the guys at Monarch. I haven't been here for a while. Um, I might have a chat with Paul sometime and see if um, he'd like us to maybe come over and show you folks how 
where or whatever we produce some of our merchandise because <coughs> I have found this company to be very amenable, very helpful. And for those of you folks that have your own um, YouTube channels and maybe want to do a little bit of merchandise for yourself, um, I, I can recommend I can recommend Monarch very highly. But um, we'll see. After Christmas, I'll have a chat and say to Paul, "Can I come over? Can I bring the camera? Um, you can you can show us what he does. I can then link in the details of the business and because they'll post it anywhere in the UK." And possibly abroad I don't know so literally if you want to if you've got your own channel and you want to do a little bit of your own merchandise bits and bobs and they'll do anything from one mug one mug to 10,000 whatever so, so they'll do so even if you wanted something um, just for yourself just bespoke special for yourself so you send them a picture they'll put on a mug for you so yeah nice folks Right, so we'll go home, I'll put the kettle on for the plumber again, and then I'll show you what I've just brought back. Alright? Sorry. Right. Might make a small detour on the way. So from Yate, it's not far, a bit of a trip through the lanes uh, from there to get to back to the farm, as in to the other farm. Uh, as I understand, we've had at least one more instance of fly tipping. Uh, fly tipping again. It's just another disrespectful mistreatment of our countryside by folks who think far more of profit than the planet. Or others. Uh, right, we're going to go and have a quick look just to see if it's there, the council may have been picked up because as I understand it was right on the side of the road so it may already be gone but um, if it's still there then I'll show you I've not even got in yet, you've already started on me What? You had a biscuit in there. I know you did. I saw her give it you. Oh, it was an interesting visit with Dad. Just called in to see he was okay. Um, apparently, Reg is taking a crow banger up for our rape. The pigeons are giving it a right bashing. Uh, so that might just be an excuse for me to maybe go and spend a day up there myself with either a um, shotgun or maybe one of the rifles. So uh, when I was a kid, one of my favorite things to do, whatever I could, was to go out popping off wood pigeons with air rifle. I mean, in those days, it was a, my first air rifle was a BSA air sporter, which I still got. Um, I didn't have anything like what I've got today. I mean, today, I can use my um, Daystate Huntsman, which is a 30 foot pound, uh, beautiful air rifle. So it's almost too beautiful to, to take it out and risk scratching it, but maybe, maybe we'll do a farmer type pigeon control video that involves thinning out some wood pigeons. Maybe. Me. Right then. What's in the box? I haven't actually looked yet, but in here there should be my invoice from the suppliers, a load of biscuit toys, and a load of these fellas as well. So these are the key rings that we had made. Um, we did a load last year and 
sold out. Then we did a load more and sold out. Um, they actually last quite well. In fact, that one's been on my keyring for about a year. So, yeah, I suppose it's faded a little bit. So, yeah. Anyway, if you fancy a Farmer P keyring, they're metal, they're well made, and they're not very expensive. So, okay, right, let's get this on side. <laughs> Pepper is so desperate to be Biscuit's friend. And Biscuit just doesn't, you are such a princess, Biscuit. And yeah, you are a lovely Pepper. And she's just a grumpy, grumpy thing, isn't she? Eh? Grumpy. Oh, Biscuit. She's just trying to be friendly. Aren't you? Eh? You're just trying to be friendly with the old crouch. Pickle can't be bothered to be friendly anymore. But Pepper does try. Don't you? <laughs>